Hey there, today I've got quite the interesting topic. So over the last few days, me and the team have kind of been talking about a few things. I'm going to start by talking about uh, reducing the player count. So right now, um, and I mean player count limit on the servers. So each server as of GT has had, I mean, pretty sure for the whole uh, remaster, we've had 50 players on each server. So US 1, 2, 3, and then EU 1 all have 50 players for a total of 200 you know not counting the hub 200 people could be in game playing um to be very candid 50 players is quite laggy so we're gonna reduce that to 35 us1 has already had this reduction in place since jolly so basically every server will now be 35 totaling what is that 140 players so yeah but here's the kind of cool part about that we're considering the possibility of two new server instances i'll get into why we haven't done this before and why this is a simple addition these days for us so first off there the two instances would be you know instance five and six but they're going to be one i'm considering in canada and the other would be in the united kingdom for another server over in europe um i know it's not part of europe but you know probably call it eu too just to keep it nice and simple but if you guys have any suggestions for a better uh instance location because yeah we, we already have new york the canada one uh, since canada is so big it'd be in quebec so pretty much right above new york so yeah uh, our host i don't believe they offer vancouver that would be a little bit better on the west coast of canada however um if you guys have any suggestions for instance locations let us know so now i'm going to kind of talk about why these servers won't just be like uh no you got to go there ah it's annoying you got it because right now on the live server you know you have to choose the server you're going to play on in case you haven't seen it devlog 22 covers in great depth the global chest um the global chest is going to offer you the means to move your items between all servers so character slots have existed for ages now character slots allow you to move your character across all the servers global chest is a global ender chest that lets you just put all your items in and move them got a set of armor on us2 bring it over to um ca1 now you know canada one so you you can you can do that you can move all your items there's no loss to plan any of these new instances so when you get on when the update releases and us1 is undoubtedly full for the next four months uh with a 35 player cap right uh you could go play us2 us3 or canada one if you wish that's real close to new york anyway in quebec so the the point is of these two new instances to give more player capacity so i believe it's 210 total players let me double check my math 35 times 6 yep 210 players uh and then also the hub server would have you basically waiting in a queue to join any of these six servers so let's talk about kind of why we haven't added instances before we have four instances you know us one to three and eu one the reason we haven't added more is because every time we release an update i'm manually uploading the mods the plugins the configs the this the that it takes a lot of time to upload all of the changes of an update probably about 10 20 minutes per server and that might sound like not a lot but when you're taking an hour and a half rolling out the update just in the files and you got to do it again during maintenance it quickly becomes a time consuming task point is i created a system very simple command line type thing with our file host to just here's my source file so it has the mod it has a basically a directory of the server and it pastes it over to as many servers as i want put in us one two three so it will just paste to all six of the proposed servers you know two of them being new so just boom like that it will still take time to upload them it's just the difference is i'm not dragging the file waiting till it's done dragging the file waiting till it's done basically that's going to speed it up drastically as well as just other changes to make this process simpler on my side but yeah so it was really just adding two new servers would be more time consuming and we had 50 player cap on every server so like 200 player ca count already did you really need more servers it didn't feel like it but now 35 player cap to reiterate the point of that i don't know if i mentioned it i did so it's to reduce lag um 50 players is uh, no matter how much i change and optimize the server i believe it's going to be quite some time before we can run a 50 players consistently without lag on any of the given instances um i do want to mention for anyone not aware we've tried to upgrade the servers before we threw us1 after gt came out on this crazy 32 gigabyte nuts machine with top of the line cpu everything great and what did it do it lagged more um that's not indicative of if it would or wouldn't be better long term the, the thing is just minecraft is single threaded throwing it on a better cpu doesn't always help things like that yeah you know, i multi-thread a lot of our code but 
point is there's a lot of plugins mods that we use you know we're removing a lot of mods with 1.2.7 armor's workshop gone a couple mods just gone a lot of plugins just gone i'm doing the best i can to optimize for performance but at the end of the day i think changing the count from 50 to 35 is going to help more than anything else i might even lower it to 30 we'll see how it goes on release but i think these two new servers will give us the overhead we need uh 210 players should be more than enough let alone being able to wait in the hub uh obviously when the update comes out if you have stuff on us1 you're gonna have to wait to get in there if the queue is full you can queue in wait to get in us1 get your stuff put it in the global chest and then go to any of the other five servers you want uh obviously these servers are in locations so you really should be playing a server that's good for your ping um i'm gonna pop a map up on the screen i haven't made it but i'm gonna make it uh, so here's a map basically of where all the servers would be at um there's a color indicating which ones are new I, I don't know what color it'll be you'll see it um okay beyond the instant stuff let's talk about the title a wild change to server allocation it's not just a weird title uh the wild is changing <sighs> sorry before that let me talk about two things so all four servers have a wild right the two new ones won't have a wild we're gonna get to that in a minute but they also won't have two new character slots these are purely just servers for more capacity for you guys to play and better ping locations maybe so let's talk about well the character slots is because we're already adding two new character slots through other means we don't want every character slot to be from something we don't want it to all be from a character a server that you have to join to get the character slot we, we want to do away with that system past the fourth four servers um so talking about wild why is there no wilds in the two new ones well that doesn't mean canada and you the uk server wouldn't be able to play in the wild it just means everyone would go to the same server for the wild so talking about reducing the player count for lag this will have a bigger impact as well as helping with the whole lower player count thing it will reduce the performance impact of the wild by taking the wild off all four servers us1 2 3 and eu1 all have a wild dimension and we run a plugin called multiverse i don't know if it's optimized i have no idea it's an old plugin um we run that on every single server just to have the wild dimension that's it so there's three dimensions the base dimension canton and the wild we get to get rid of two of those and just run canton i foresee that having a good impact on lag um but either way the wild change we were having a whole wild update thing planned which we still have planned i won't get into that now but the point is all four of these wilds they're not you're not losing anything let me let me reiterate that faction data your items your builds everything on the wild servers will be transferred i'm going to make sure of that including your homes any home sets you have will be transferred to this new wild server um all four wild dimensions will be moved here go to slash server wild and you'll have wild one two three and, and four all correlating to the current four instances so um you won't have any loss your faction claims are transferred your slash set homes will transfer uh i'm gonna have to code things to make this happen it's not quite the simple change i wish it was but i'm going to read through the entire everyone's essential data and i'm gonna paste it over to give you guys the homes um which is useful for future things but i'm not gonna get into that nerd stuff point is you shouldn't lose anything the whole point of this wild change is just to make all four of the main servers perform better because there's no point in having the wild so you will be going to one wild server which will also as i mentioned help with the player count because if someone wants to play in the wild and they're just playing in the wild they will no longer be taking up a slot on say us1 just because they're building in the wild and all the impact of them building in the wild and doing flying around and doing transformations because you can still do that in the wild will no longer impact anybody on us1 this us1 will be purely gameplay every server will be purely gameplay there'll just be six servers explicitly to play apollo and then you have a wild server um this whole idea of a separate server for the wild comes from the wild update however this won't mean a new a new wild dimension this will be the old four ones on one server and all everyone will be in this wild server there will be a hub area there uh, where you'll have them all i think not certain but the idea is you have them all there so you could just go to slash spawn on the wild server the canton won't be there but you'll be able to just go to this little mall thing maybe it'll just be the mall copy pasted i don't know maybe it's a time rift oh point is you'll just be able to go get all your items get your blocks get your whatever you need and yeah and as far as how you get zenny there 
Well, you just bring Yazeni over through the global chest, through any of your four servers. Global chest is truly the reason this is possible. Um, yeah, we got to thinking about these new instances, and then we just last night got to thinking, I don't know when this is coming out, but last night for me, we got to thinking the wild would probably have a bigger impact. And the reason this is being put in the update so last minute is because of the performance impact it could have, because of the player count uh, spreading the people to just the wild server. If they're playing on the wild, it could have, as well as merging the four wilds so people can go all to wild dimension one if they wanted, or dimension three because it probably has like nothing on it because who's playing US3? You know who is playing US3? Someone that rebuilt the, 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 the US3 warp because I guess it was unclaimed. So shout out to those um, people that was really random but anyway um i think that's all i really have to cover i already talked about all my nerdy rolling out the update stuff that made it better if you have any suggestions if you don't want a canada instance or a uk instance let us know where it would be better but yeah um thanks for watching this was supposed to be a mini devlog but i realized it's going to be quite long it's not going to be a real devlog though it's just a mini one peace out